talking in Pop Goes the Movie. With Shane the Chef. Oh, that should do it. Thanks, Sid. This is a big moment. Munchington's first pop-up cinema. Dad! Whoa! Look, the screen's up already. It's gonna be so cool. I can't wait. Nino the Hero is my favourite film. In the hills of Mexico, the poor people starve because Miguel the Marauder has taken all their corn. Only one person could save them. Nino the Hero. Hey, you're good. Our Jayesh knows all the lines off by heart. Well, it is my favourite film. Hi, Jane. I've almost finished the pop... JG! Shush! It's a surprise. Oh, what's a surprise? Let's just say I've got some special movie snacks lined up. Movie, movie snacks? snacks? Maggie should be getting the ingredients ready. You know, you could always go and check how she's getting on. Let's go, Ninios. <laughs> Your sweet corn is looking great, Maggie. Yeah, but unfortunately, the crows think so too. Hey, shoot! Get away with you! <laughs> oh, well done, Eddie. <laughs> You're the perfect scarecrow. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Sam. Shane says you've got movie snacks. Wow, what's all that? Is it sweet corn? Eh, that's right. Look. Maybe that's Dad's special movie snack. It doesn't look very special. Can't you make popcorn out of corn? You can. <gasps> popcorn! Yay! Oh, but this corn is sweet corn. You need a different kind of corn to make popcorn. Aww. <laughs> like this one. All ready for the movie screening tonight. Yes! Wow! Ah. Uh, it's all dry and wrinkly. The drier it is, the better it pops. Once I was on the run from bandits when I ran into a cornfield in Mexico where the corn was as high as my head. There I was, hiding in a cornfield, when the bandits set the field on fire and the corn started popping all around me. <laughs> Mexico, that's just like Nino the hero. I, Nino. We'll take the corn to the people of Mexico, and they shall not go hungry. You really do know all the lines, Jay. Uh-huh. Hey, why don't we all play Nino the hero? Dibs, I'll be the baddie. Miguel the marauder. I'll be Isabella the brave, Nino's best friend. And I'll be Nino the <laughs> hero. And his faithful horse, uh, hound. El Edo. <laughs> <laughs> See you at the screening. Bye. Bye. This is my land and my corn. No one shall have it but me. But Miguel, I'm hungry. Too bad. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> no. This corn belongs to everyone. You have to share. Share? Miguel the Marauder never shares. Whoa! <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's just I think Miguel the Marauder needs a wash. Great. <laughs> Proudly presenting JG's Popomatic for the best popcorn in Munchington. It's a beaut, isn't it? Oh, you said it. Are you sure it'll work? Of course. <laughs> When do my inventions ever fail? Uh... Hiya, Shane. Hi, Maggie. Here you go, your special popping corn. <laughs> Great. Just in time to try out the pop matic You ready, JG? Here we go. We have lift-off. Woohoo! Well, we really do have lift-off. Um, is it supposed to do that? Watch out! There you go. I'll bet the corn's popped to perfection. Sizzling saucepans. Some of the corn's popped, all right. Look, it's all burnt. <laughs> it just needs a tweak. Can 
you see anything, Nino? No. I think he's hiding in the field of corn. <laughs> Wait, Nino. Our faithful hound, Aledo, has found something. Or someone. No, Eddie. Go away, Eddie. No. Out, you brigand. Out to face justice. Miguel the Marauder will never give in. I will resist until the end of time. Stop. At last, you are vanquished, Miguel. Now you must share your corn with all. OK, Nino the hero, I give up. From now on, everyone can eat my corn. Actually, I'm really hungry now. It's almost time for the film to start. Come on. Quiet, please, everyone. Welcome to the first screening at Munchington's Pop-Up Cinema. Uh. Let her roll, Sid. <gasps> Here we go. Oh. Wow. Yay, yeah, it's Nino the hero. Bring on the popcorn. Mmm, <laughs> I can smell it. Oh, oh. calamity! Oh, no. I'm so sorry, everyone. The popcorn's all burnt. Well, I've got plenty more corn at the farm, if that helps. And I can cook it in a saucepan over the fire, like they did in Mexico. But what about the film? Sorry, Jay. The popcorn got inside the projector. It's broken. <sighs> Never mind, Jay. We had fun acting the film, didn't we? Hey, wait a minute. Okay, okay, absolutely. Listen up, everyone. We've got a plan, but we have to go to Maggie's. Fine by me. What are we waiting for? To the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Munchington's first pop up theatre. The Cornfield Players now proudly present Nino the Hero. <laughs> Out to face justice. Hooray! 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 This is my land. But Miguel, I'm hungry. Ha 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 ha. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you have to share. Too bad. Miguel the Marauder never shares. Oh. <laughs> this corn belongs to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, El Edo. <laughs> Whoa! You are vanquished, Miguel. <laughs> You were all magnificent, <laughs> especially my Mario. Mama. You saved the day, kids. Yay! <laughs> yes, Eddie. Just what I was thinking. Where's the popcorn? Coming right up. And I'm going to make corn on the cob too. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Hush, please. Exciting. There she goes. It's going crazy. I think that's the last pop. Hooray! <laughs> Yummy. Not so fast, Miguel the Marauder. That corn is for sharing, remember? Oops. Sorry, Nino. <laughs> 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 Let's get cooking in Food Festival with Shave the Chef. <laughs> You're working hard, girls. Yeah, we're doing a food project for school. It's got to be in by tomorrow. 
Well, there's plenty of food inspiration here. There's Sam Spratt's fish, Mama Polenta's deli, Maggie's fruit and veg, of course, and let's not forget a certain restaurant run by a certain chef. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. We can make the project all about food from Munchington. Oh, good thinking. But think big. Why not get the whole town involved? Yes, everyone in town can have stalls showing off their wares. Oh, and we can have music and, and bunting? You mean like a food, food festival. festival? Now you're talking. And Dad, you can do a big cookery demonstration. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, I guess I could do that. Ah, there's a lot to do by tomorrow. OK, why don't I do all the decoration and posters? Good idea, and I'll organise the stalls. The Munchington Food Festival is on. How do you like my posters? This will draw the crowds. Brilliant, honey. Check out my plans for the food stalls. Mmm, they're OK, I guess. Oh, only OK? Look, I was thinking, Mama Polenta's stall could go here and Maggie's tuk-tuk there as normal. And Dad's demonstration could be in the middle. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, let's get your posters up and we can talk about the plan later. Might be easier if I just make some changes. I had so many good ideas last night. Oh, did you? Hey, Izzy, I've got those hair bales you asked for. Where do you want them? Oh, um, just there would be great. Thanks, Maggie. OK, no problem. Can you move, please, Izzy? <sighs> did I just hear Maggie? Just the person I need to see. I'm after some inspiration for my cookery demonstration later. I want to do something unusual. Come and take your pick. I've got loads to choose from. Oh, look at these. Um, what are they, Dad? Pack joy. You could cook them in so many ways. We're all ready to put up our stalls, honey. Here's the new plan, Izzy. You know what to do. I don't really know what was wrong with my plan. Here we go. This will look great. That's awesome. Hmm. I've been thinking. Let's move all of these stalls over to that end of the square. That end? But, honey, your new plan says this end. Well, I've changed my mind. It'll be better if we put the hay bale seats here. <sighs> will it now? Have you put up those posters yet? I'm about to do that, actually. But first, let's get these stools moved. <sighs> Hi, Sam. You got any fresh fish for me today? I need something to go with Pak Choi. I've got some lovely turbot you might like. Oh, that one's a beauty, Sam. Ah! Yes! Yeah, sizzling dolphins. Testing. Ooh! Testing. Ooh! A one, two. Ooh! 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 Morning, Shane. Sam. Just testing out my old megaphone. I've made it extra loud. Yeah, so I can hear. Ah, JG, you've given me an idea. Mind if I borrow this? Hey! Get your turbo here, fresh this morning. It's lovely. Well, I never. I've got some good tunes to play, Izzy. Every song's about food. Listen. There's only one finger like more than chips. A bass line a bit so I can move my hips. Brilliant, Mario. Oh, you needn't have bothered, Mario. I've already made a playlist for the festival. The malignant whalers will surely get them going. Actually, this is now totally in the wrong place. It needs to move over there. But, honey, the plan. The plan has changed. But be quick as we haven't got long and you need to arrange the hay bales. Huh. I thought you were both organising the food festival. So did I. But Honey has totally taken over. It's my megaphone. But I've got to sell my fish, you see. You boys, always squabbling. Aha! This is just what I need. Olive oil! Olive oil ah, from my hometown yeah. in Tuscany! Ah, look, it's my megaphone. <sighs> But I've got to sell my turbot. Turbot, catch your turbot. Yeah. Just a little bit further. Come on, Mario, and you, Izzy. <sighs> oh, it's all happening today. Right, I just need a few more of your delicious vegetables. 
take your pick, Shane. Ooh, fantastic. Hi, Dad. Hi, Izzy. What time will my demonstration start later? Why don't you ask Honey? She seems to be running this food festival herself. But I thought it was a team effort. It was supposed to be, but Honey's got other ideas. Maggie, I need you to move your tuk-tuk over there. But I always park it here. It's all in the plan, Maggie. Not in my plan. <gasps> Mr Mayor! Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Mayor. You're just in time for our food festival. Yes, I'm here to perform the grand opening. Young Honey here asked me to do it. Another one of my brilliant ideas. Ugh. In that case, I'll begin. I prepared a short speech. <clears throat> A I declare this food festival open. I... Ah, yeah. uh, there's no one here. You did tell everyone the festival was happening, didn't you? Of course. I clearly put lunchtime today on the posters. You mean these posters? Yes. Oh, no, I forgot about them. Oh, what have I done? It's what you haven't done that's the problem. No one will come if they don't know the festival is even happening. I'm sorry. I'm really, really, really sorry. Don't be so hard on yourself, honey. You just wanted the food festival to be a success. But I've been so bossy. I feel terrible. I'm sorry, Izzy. Oh, my fish are flesh. I'll have you know. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? If you're thinking what I think you're thinking, then yes. Roll up, roll up! Come to Munchington Food Festival! The Munchington Food Festival is taking place right now! Join us! Roll up, roll up! The Munchington Food Festival! I'll be there! Roll up, roll Quick, up! Quick, before it ends! Roll up, roll up! Come along! Yeah. Come, come to the festival! Everyone's welcome! Come, come to and Munchington Food Festival! These things are amazing! Terrific turbot! It. Get down to the groove. What a brilliant festival. Well done, girls. Thanks, Mrs. Singh. This is what I call teamwork. Good school project, both of you. Attention, attention. And now for the main event. Allow me to introduce... <laughs> Shane the Chef. Thank you, thank you. Gather round, everyone. Now, I want to show you what you can create from this wonderful vegetable, Pak Choi. I've got peppers, Mama Polenta's olive oil, spring onions and ginger from Maggie's stall to make Pak Choi stir-fry. Mm. Oh, yummy. This will look great on the Shane the Chef channel. I've also got one of Sam's fresh turbot to steam with more of the Pak Choi. So, let's get cooking. <laughs> There you have it. Sam's delicious turbot steamed with pak choy. And finally, a pak choy stir-fry made with Mama Polenta's olive oil and Maggie's fresh vegetables. Job done. Come on, folks. Tuck in. Great job, Dad. Yum. Shane, this is delicious. Something to really shout about. Uh, has anyone seen my megaphone? Nope. No. Sorry, JG. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh Sounds better than Honey's music. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get cooking in Muscle Bound. With Shane the Chef. Shane, what are those? It's today's special, Mario. Steamed mussels with tomato and garlic. Ah, uh, I don't think I'd like those. You should at least try them, Mario. Mmm, I love mussels, especially the way Dad cooks them. Hmm, I think I've got everything I need. Garlic, onion, 
olive oil, parsley, thyme. Uh, haven't you forgotten something, Dad? Ah, yes, the tomatoes. I'll get some from Maggie. No, Dad. The mussels. Where are the mussels? Ah, <laughs> that's the fun bit. You and Mario are getting those. Where from? The shop? Not quite. You're going to pick them yourselves from the rocks on the beach. We need at least two buckets full. Think you can handle that? No problem. I can get two buckets full all by myself. As if. Well, there's only one way to find out. Come on. Morning, you lord. Hi, Hi Sam. Hi, Sam. <laughs> oh, and hello, Eddie. I think Eddie wants to pick mussels too. Eddie can help, but his Sammy no. knows everything about mussels. No worries, Shane. We love a bit of mussel picking, don't we, Eddie? What? I'll get the tomatoes while he shows you what to do. OK, let's get cracking. Come on. I bet I get more mussels than you. Ha! Huh. Even Eddie will get more mussels than you. What? No, he won't. Keep an eye on that tide, kids. We don't want to be stuck here when that comes in. I remember the time when we were marooned out on the settled sands for days and days and days. Can we get mussels now? Oh, yes. Brilliant. Here we go. You'll not find any mussels down there in the sand. They like clean water and a bit of rock to cling to. Just like that one there. Wow! Look at all those mussels. They're just shells. You can't eat them. <laughs> you don't eat the shell. You eat the soft, juicy bit inside. It's really tasty. Ugh, yuck. I don't want to eat them. I just want to pick them. Only pick the big ones, mind. We need to leave the little ones to grow. Just get hold of a big one and twist it from the cluster. Perfect. Then all they'll need is a bit of a scrub and those beards of theirs taken off. Beards? Yes, they have beards, although not quite as glorious as mine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, over there. There's even more over here. <laughs> hey, Eddie, this is my patch. Look at this big one, Sam. Are you giving me a hand, Eddie? <laughs> oh, Eddie, be careful. Oh, Eddie. Now neither of us are going to get enough mussels. Hi, Maggie. Um, have you got any tomatoes? Whoa, look at all these. You want tomatoes, do you? <laughs> well, I've got Gardener's Delight, Plum, Cherry, Tiger, Beefsteak and, um, Yellow. Wow, I didn't realise you had so many kinds. That'll be really tasty in my mussel dish. I'll pick a selection for you. <laughs> Look at all these, Sam. Good going, Izzy. And just as well, cos we'll have to scarper soon with that tide coming in as fast as it is. <laughs> Look, Eddie, more mussels. Come on, Eddie. Time to stop now, Izzy. That tide's coming in fast. OK, Sam. I've already got plenty of mussels. How are you doing, guys? Look at the mussels I've picked, Dad. Wow! Well done, Izzy. Can I help? Sorry, Shane. No can do. The tide is coming in too fast now. We need to head back. No problem. Uh, where's Mario? <gasps> Eddie's missing too. <gasps> Eddie! 
Not now, Eddie. I'm busy. Eddie, I... Oh, no! Eddie, I'm stuck! Help! Help me! Help! Help me, Eddie! Don't leave me! Mario! Mario. Eddie. Eddie! Where is he? Mario! <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong. Come on, let's follow Eddie. Help me! Help! Sizzling saucepans! Shane, help! Don't worry, Mario. I'm coming. Be careful, Shane. The current's quite strong here. <gasps> Watch out! All right, listen to me, Mario. Shane! I'm scared. Oh, no. Just climb onto my back and hold on tight. Ready? <gasps> Yay! Oh, there you go, Mario. Safe and sound. Thank you, Shane. You're a hero, Dad. And you, Eddie. <laughs> Reminds me of the time when I was rescued of an abandoned oil rig in the South China Sea. Surrounded by sharks, I was. Oh, wait for me! Oh, my brave, brave boy! Mama! And brave, brave Shane! Ah. How will I ever thank you? Oh, oh, oh. oh, it was nothing. How about I head to the kitchen and cook those mussels? That'll warm us all up. I'll help. Eddie! Oh, Eddie, you brave, wonderful dog! Come to Mama. <laughs> all that sea air has given me an appetite. So, let's get cooking. Check out those muscles. Good job, Izzy. Yay! Here we go, everyone. Steamed mussels with tomato and garlic. Hmm. They do smell good. Maybe I'll try one. No, Mario. Eat them like this. OK, it's a bit weird, but cool. Aww. I guess you deserve the first muscle. If it wasn't for you, Eddie, no one would have found me. Hmm, not bad. Oh, mm -hmm. I'll just try one more. Mmm, and maybe another. Mmm, you know, I think I quite like mussels. Oh, Mario. We're <laughs> Let's get cooking in... Fancy fish fingers. With Shane the Chef. That's the preparation done. All we need now is the fish. Sam should be here soon. Coming out to play, is he? Sure. But first you have to guess Dad's dish of the day. Oh, um... Uh... Fish fingers. Huh? How did you know? Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, Shane. My last loaf of bread. It's a bit dry, but it will make good breadcrumbs. Perfect for my fish fingers. Thanks, Mama Polenta. I'd better go. Mario's minding the shop for me while I run a few errands. <laughs> Ciao! Bye! Bye! So that's the breadcrumbs sorted. Let's hope Sam's caught some pollock today. Is that a fish? 
That's right. They make the best fish fingers. And there's plenty of them in the sea, too. Ah, that's Sam now. Hi, Sam. Psst. Huh? huh? Lovely. Mario? Shh. See you then. So, Sam's caught a big pollock and... Oh. Wow. That's a lot of cornflakes. What happened? Did your mum order too many? Um, not exactly. Mario. Cornflakes are my favourite breakfast. But Mama only ordered five boxes, so I added a zero after the five. Whoa. Fifty boxes of cornflakes? I didn't realise there'd be this many. What am I going to do? Mama's going to be back any second. We could try selling them around town. If we sell 45 boxes at £1.50 a box, we'd make... £67.50. pence. Cool. I'm sure Mum and Polenta will be happy with that. Which means I won't get told off. Quick, take cover! Watch out! Phew, well spotted, Jay. You can look out for Mum and Polenta while we get these cornflakes out of here. Eggs, bread. All I need now is the fish. Hi, Shane. Oh, oh hi, oh. Penny. I bought you a honeycomb from my beehives. Oh, sorry. It's a bit drippy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, whoops! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Almost got honey on the ingredients for my fish fingers. Oh, wow. Fish fingers. They're the kids' favourite. They are easy to make. Not for me. I can't cook. I'm too clumsy. Everyone can cook. I'll show you. Well, OK. But don't say I didn't warn you. Here, let me help you tidy that up. Oh, oh, oops! Oh! Morning, Shane. Here's your wow! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Pollock. Sorry. Almost done. Just a few boxes left now. <gasps> Mario, your mum. She's coming back. Oh, no. Quick, this way. Mario, I'm back. <laughs> and look who's followed me. Mario? Where is that boy? <laughs> what are these cornflakes doing all over my clean floor? And there are more over there. Hmm. I'm sure my Mario's got something to do with this. <laughs> Let's follow that trail. <laughs> Slow down, Mario. You'll end up in the sea. You've got to get rid of these before Mama finds out. <gasps> oh, my gosh! Flying fishes? Now, that's the strangest thing I've ever caught. Sorry, Sam. Ah, cornflakes. I love them. <clears throat> Me too. <laughs> we know. I remember trekking through the Arctic, looking for the giant yeti. Miles and miles through the frozen wasteland we went, rationed we were, to one cornflake a day. One cornflake? Do you want to buy a box? Or even two? Say if you're going to the shop. What a good idea. Here you are. One box sold, 44 to go. Thanks, Sam. Thanks again. Bye. Come on, Eddie. Now, when you've finished putting the bread in, you just press this first button, followed by this one, then that one, then back to the first again. And it'll whiz it up into perfect breadcrumbs. OK. I'll just pop these fish bits in the freezer. I can make a tasty soup with them later. Now, oh, which button was it first? Ooh. Oh, that's a bit fast. Uh, no, was it this one? Oh, oh no, not that. Uh, maybe this one? Whoops! Uh, Shane! Shane! Cornflakes! Crunchy cornflakes! Come and get them! Best cornflakes I'll ever eat! Where is everyone? We'll never get rid of all these boxes. We could eat them. Uh, <sighs> but then we wouldn't get any money. Oh, yeah. And in any case, there's way too many of them. Not for me. I could have cornflake sandwiches, 
cornflake cakes, cornflake crisps and cornflake chips. You sound just like my dad. He can make a meal out of anything. Wait a second. That's it. We'll take them to Dad. He'll know exactly what to do with them. More cornflakes? I must be getting closer. Ah! Help, Shane! Sizzling saucepan. Oh no! The breadcrumbs! Never mind. I'm sure we can come up with another easy dish we can make together. No, it's no use, Shane. I'm just too clumsy to cook. Mario? Oh no! It's Mama! Stop! Why did you leave the shop? And what are all these cornflake boxes? I can explain. It was a mistake, Mama Polenta. And we've already sold one box. Ugh. No, Penny, come back. No, Shane. I'll only make a mess of your kitchen again. Uh, uh, uh! <gasps> Are you okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's all right, Penny. It's not your fault. They shouldn't be here in the first place. Sorry, Mama. Oh, look at all those crushed cornflakes. Don't worry, Mario. They are exactly what we need. What? Huh? Huh? Come on. We've got some fish fingers to finish. These crushed cornflakes are just right for our fish fingers. They are? Yep. We can use them instead of the breadcrumbs. You just dip the fish into the egg, then the cornflakes, and there we go. Now, let's get cooking. Back of the oven. I hope you've learnt your lesson, Mario. From now on, you leave the ordering to me. <laughs> Today's special, Penny's Crunchy Fish Fingers. Oh, I hope you like them. Mmm, yummy. You're a really good cook, Mum. I am. Mmm. See, Mama? I knew we needed all those cornflakes. But Dad only used half a box. What are you going to do with all the rest? Easy. Mrs. Sink can make me crunchy fish fingers every day. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get cooking in Dr. Easy. Ah, <laughs> oh, the carrots look great, and this garlic. Are you all right, Shane? You sound a bit bunged up. Oh, I'm fine, Maggie. I'm, I'm fit as a fiddle. <coughs> Are you sure you're not coming down with something? Yeah, told you, Maggie. I'm fine. See you soon. <coughs> Bye. Oh. Shane, you forgot your garlic! Oh. <laughs> Morning, Izzy. What a lot of books you've got. Well, I've just been to the library, actually, Mrs Singh. I'm learning all I can about herbs. You know, down the ages, herbs and other plants were grown for more than just their taste. Garlic, for instance. People believed it was good for your skin and that it could even cure a cold. Cool! Thanks, Mrs Singh. Bye, Izzy. Yuck. Morning, JG. Is there something wrong with your porridge? 
Oh, I'm afraid so, Izzy. It's too salty. Not like Shane to get that wrong. Oh, dear. I'll tell Dad and get it sorted. Thanks. Dad? It smells really spicy in here. Oh, all right, Izzy. I got a load of great veg from Maggie this morning, so I'm making something spicy. A gumbo. A gumbo? What's a gumbo? Oh, it's, it's a spicy stew. Comes from a place in America called Louisiana. Mmm. Uh, I could do with a bit more spice. Sounds good. Can I try some? Ah! Dad! You OK, Dad. Izzy? <laughs> That's way too spicy. <laughs> How much did you put in there? Hang on. Oh, that's odd. Because I can hardly taste any spice. Dad! The onion's raw! Oh, I can't taste anything. Sizzling saucepans. Maggie must be right. I've got a cold. It must be a bad one if you can't taste anything. Oh, this is serious. The chef needs to be able to taste his own cooking. That would explain why you put too much salt in JG's porridge. Oh, no. Did I? I can't serve people food if I don't know what it tastes like. <coughs> I'll have to close the restaurant. I mustn't spread cold germs around the kitchen. There must be something to make you feel better, though. Hmm. <gasps> I bet Mama Polenta's got something. Can I help? I'm looking for something for Dad's cold. He can't taste a thing. He might even have to close the restaurant. Oh, Izzy, he wants to try my cold cure. Well, actually, my mama's cold cure. And before that, her mama's cold cure. Oh, so many mamas ago. Go tell Shane I'll be right over. I've got just the thing. Did Mama Polenta have anything? Uh... Never oh! fear! Mama's here! Uh... A little bit of this, mm -hmm. a little bit of that, or oh, we'll have a lot of this, and presto! It is ready. Is it meant to be that colour? Don't be a baby. <laughs> My mama made this every time we were poorly. <laughs> How are you feeling, Dad? You know, I think it might have just, uh... <coughs> Oh. Uh, uh, <coughs> oh! Oh, I've never seen it do that before. Morning, Sam. Oh, hi there, Maggie. <coughs> oh, not you too, Sam. Shane's already full of cold. Don't you worry. I've got just the thing to keep the sniffles at bay. <coughs> Don't tell me. It's a piece of... Seaweed. This is the last of the flannels. Oh, to me, Izzy, quickly. Ooh, lovely and warm. <sighs> How do you feel now, Shane? <laughs> <laughs> Every fisherman knows there's a seaweed cure for whatever ails you. Headache, backache, armache, legache, noseache. Ah. <sighs> huh? Hi there, JG. Morning, you two. Oh, JG, you don't sound good. Oh, no. I think I've got the cold that's going around. I've got just the thing for that cold. Um, I'm suddenly feeling much better. Bye. Hang about, JG. <laughs> Goose grease and mustard. You want to rub that on my chest? Just a little for the chest. The rest goes into the sock, and then I put it on your head. My grandpa did this as soon as he felt a sniffle. And it cured his cold? I don't know. He lived three villages away. I didn't see him much. Um, Mama Polenta? What's a snail for? Snail? That's odd. Hello? Anyone in? Hi, Maggie. What are you doing here? Hey, Izzy. Your dad left this garlic behind when he picked up today's delivery. Huh. The restaurant's not normally closed at this time of day, is it? Today is turning out to be a very not normal kind of day. Ah! Stand still, Shane! No! Oh, is it, first, me? you drink the onion juice and egg white, no! and then I rub the snail slime onto your chest. No, 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 no. Snail slime? 
I can see what you mean about not normal. <laughs> what on earth's going on here? Dad's too oh. poorly to open the restaurant. Oh. Mama Polenta said she could cure his cold. But no one can cure a cold. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Then, could someone please tell Mama Polenta? Oh, Shane, I can't help you if you don't stand still. Uh, oh, Mama Polenta, not you too. Shane, you dropped your garlic earlier. I'm just returning it. Thanks, Maggie. <laughs> oh, choo! Oh, 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 you know, when I was little and I had a cold, my mum would always make me a bowl of chicken soup. It always made me feel better. When I bumped into Mrs Singh earlier, she told me that garlic was good for cold. At least some people think so. Certainly sounds better than goose grease and mustard. Oh, what about chicken soup with roasted garlic? Oh, just the sound of that makes me feel better. Achoo! Izzy, there's some leftover chicken and a jug of vegetable stock in the fridge. But you still can't taste anything, Dad. What if it's like JG's porridge? It won't be, because you'll be making it. Chicken soup with roasted garlic coming up, everyone. Let's get Achoo! cooking. Chicken soup with roasted garlic. I hope it's all right. Whoa, hey, I can taste it. Oh, I must be feeling better. Izzy, this is delicious. <coughs> Such a delicate flavour, Izzy. Mm, I feel better already. Yeah, I might not be cured exactly, but I do feel much better. I don't think we'll have to close the restaurant after all. It's all thanks to you, Dr Izzy. Thanks, Dad. Hello, Shane. I've been hearing marvellous things about Izzy's chicken and garlic soup. Hi there, JG. Come on in. Just the taste is making me feel brighter. Is there any soup left? I think my seaweed's out of date. <laughs> Dr Izzy's chicken and roasted garlic soup will sort you out. Dad! You stop sneezing! Ah, so I have. At last. No more sniffles, no more sneezes. Let's hope so. We can't have anyone else getting a. a co. a co. a chew! Oh, I think you might need some soup, Izzy. Shade the chef! Let's get cooking in. all rice. With Shade the chef! There. All done. That's going to look lovely inside the windmill. Is JG really going to get the windmill to work again? Well, that's the plan, and I'm going to help him. Whoa! Listen to that wind. That'll get the windmill sails turning. Should make plenty of flour for my bread. I still don't really understand how you get flour from a windmill. You just wait and see. What was that? It's my yeast. Look. <laughs> It's full of bubbles. It looks alive. It is. Yeast is a fungus, a bit like a mushroom. It'll make my bread rise. Once we've got the flour, I'll add the yeast, knead it, and leave it to rise before baking it in the oven. And voila, you have bread. Mmm. Mmm. Can't, Can't wait. wait. OK, I'm going to the windmill now. Maggie and JG are probably wondering where I've got to. Oh, hi, JG. I thought you'd be there already. What? Oh, hello, Shane. Yes, yes, I was just on my way to the windmill when Mario showed me his magnificent kite. I made it. I call it the Taylor's Terror. That is awesome. Shane, look. JG programmed his drone to take pictures of the windmill from the air. That's going to be so cool. 
What? Oh, yes, that reminds me. I'll see you soon, JG. Yes, yes, I I'll be right along. I'll just be two ticks. Oh, what button was it again? Ah, oh, now, which one was that? Cool. Awesome. Look out. Watch out. Oh, you come back here, you little... Whoa! Oh, my. Sorry. Oh, my new scarf. Oh, that JG, always in a rush. So you see, the shaft turns the spur wheel, which turns the millstone. That grinds the wheat into lovely wholemeal flour for my bread. Well, that's the plan. I've replaced a few parts, but the axle's still a bit stiff, so I'm hoping JG can get it moving again. <laughs> well, I'm sure he will. He's pretty good at this sort of thing. Sizzling sausage! Whoa! What's that thing doing in here? Ooh, don't panic, don't panic. Just a sec. There. That's it. Sorry, folks. Slight hiccup. She was meant to land outside. Right. JG, can I leave you to take a look at the axle while I get the wheat? Leave it to me, Maggie. I'll soon get her working. Whoa! Oops. Sorry. Yay! I knew it'd work. Um, why is it spinning like that? Oh, Aww. no. Mario, don't kites need a tail to fly properly? Not always. Let's try it again. All righty -o. Here we go. Awesome. Woo, yay! <gasps> oh, <laughs> careful, oh, no. Mario. Gosh. It almost hit Millie. She's going to eat it. Stop her. Uh oh, no, you don't, you naughty thing. <laughs> Sorry, Millie. It must be boring eating grass all day. What would you say if I said you might be eating grass later? What? 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 Grass? Uh. Come on, I'll show you. Here we are. That's wheat, isn't it? Looks like grass to me. Exactly. Wheat is a kind of grass used to make bread. Ugh, you can't eat that. <laughs> Not like that, you can't. First, you have to take the grains from the wheat and then take them to the windmill where they'll be ground into flour to make bread. <laughs> Easy, really. Amazing. Oh, wow. As long as we get the windmill to work. <laughs> ah. Do so you think the axle's jammed? Most likely. I'll fix her in a minute. Just want to program that camera on the drone first. Look. Um, don't you think we should sort out the axle first? Ahem. <clears throat> Quite right, Shane. Quite right. Now, pass me the spanner. Here you go. Oops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch out, watch out. Oh, no. Oh, clamoured. Ah, excuse me. Gotta go. JG, where are you going? Is the coast clear? Yes. Why do you ask? JG nearly ran me over. Almost made me drop my new scarf. Beautiful scarf, that is. Reminds me of a scarf I saw on a buck-toothed donkey. Huh? A donkey? Oh, but it was a beautiful donkey. Oh! oh, no! My new scarf! I think I've fixed the axle. <laughs> I can't understand why JG would just leave like that. His drone just sped off and he went after it. He is rather distracted today. Can you pass me the torch? I just want to check nothing's blocking the grain shoot. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, and by the way, don't touch that lever. Or I'll get a whole load of grain on my head. <laughs> Look out! Oh, no! Oh, my! Oh! <laughs> oh, JG! Not again. Oh. Maybe it does need a tail, like Jay said. Maybe you're right. We're not going to find one out here, are we? Ah. Whoa. How about this? Whoa, where did that come from? It's perfect. Here, let me just... There. Try it now. Here we go. It worked. It's we flying. Yeah. Oh, hey. Come on, kids. We think we've got the windmill going. I'm pleased to announce the opening of the newly repaired windmill. Hooray! Yay! Fantastic! Nice hat, Mama Polenta. I had to borrow it to keep my hair tidy in the wind because something made my scarf blow away. Mm, sorry. Are you sure that thing's under control now, JG? Of course! And it's going to take great pictures of the windmill. Everyone ready? Then I'll get the sails turning again. Yay! 
than I thought. I'll try this. Oh, oh. Look out, look out. What was that noise? The sails have stopped. Oh, no! That drone! <laughs> well, how are we going to shift it? Just needs a tweak. Uh, we could try using the kite. Sure. Oh, that's my scarf! Uh-oh. Oh, dear. This really is all down to me. Why don't you give it a go, JG? It's the least I could do. Go on, JG. Oh, oh, oh nearly, off. JG, JG, you bring were it really back. Close that time. Oh, Very close. It. Try again. Here we do it. Yes. Well, well done. Oh, thanks, JG. You've saved the day. Sometimes it does help to focus on one job at a time. Come on, let's go make that flower. See. The wheat grain goes under the stone. They're getting squashed. Exactly. Hey, it's flour. Amazing. Ah, oh, there we go. Wholemeal flour, straight from the windmill. Now, who wants to bake? Me. 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 Let's get cooking. Baked bread. Back of the oven. Here we go. Our first loaves from the Munchington windmill. Oh, wow. Oh, that bread smells amazing. Oh, delicious. Reminds me of the time when I baked buns for the poor. Mmm, this from Gross. I don't believe it. Save some for me. Ah, here you go, Mario. My kite, it's got a new tail. It's, it's our, our bunting. bunting. And Mama Polenta, I believe this is yours. <laughs> oh, my scarf! JG, you're my hero. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> 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 